taking you know classical liberal ideas out and replacing them with you know socialism and you know, radical progressivism yeah. to be honest and it's hard to keep up because like you said you can't be a democrat you can't be on the left and be um pro-life anymore mm-hmm. hello hi i'm so austin i'm enjoying the conversation cool uh what do you want to talk about i just want to see what you were talking about oh okay um, we're talking about um, free speech on campus and how bringing a conservative on campus has resulted in some flack and some backlash from some of the students. And I'm talking about sharing multiple ideas and kind of hearing both sides and engaging in free speech and dialogue on campus and how important that is. Do you agree? I think it's a difficult question. I'm interested in what you have to say. About what specifically? Free speech or that's what we were talking Michael about? Michael Knowles or free speech or are you here for the... Well, the original- entry into this conversation was to find out what you are talking about that's why you're here right you want to yeah so talk about it okay that's an interesting way to approach people Mm -hmm. we're asking do you support free speech is that that's what we're basically asking i don't have to answer your questions i'm asking you you a question of course i support free speech but there is a difference between free speech and hate speech i'm sure you're aware what is the difference the difference is one is oppressing people and the other one is just having your say do you think there's a legal difference I'm not answering your questions. Now you're harassing me. I wanted to ask you. Well, you approached me. I was just standing here having an interview with this nice young man. um, I'm standing here asking you a question. What was the question you asked me? I asked you, what are you talking about? You seem very unable to talk about it, which is a little bit strange. Okay. Well, I have an event. I know you're going to stop by. You're welcome to ask the speaker, and I'll see you there. I'm faculty here. I also support our support our, um, protester in the back. What do you support specifically? Do you, do you think that anti-immigrant rhetoric is violent free speech? Well, yes, because of the you, reasons You think that, that I'm speech is about. violence? Uh, no, I think that... That's the, what that sign says. The conversation that you're having is oppressive. It, um, and so it I am oppressing people by what I'm doing. So I, am, I am exerting violence on people by my speech. It that's con- what the sign says, and that's what you just said. It contributes to And the protester is saying that's exactly what I'm doing, and she's saying that's exactly what her sign means. So that means that you, a faculty member at an American public university, paid for by taxpayer dollars, are conflating speech with violence. Yes. Um, speech can be violent. What you are saying contributes to systemic racism in this country. It means that my students of color are pulled over and accused of stealing a car when they did not. I'm not pulling anybody over for stealing I'm any cars. I, I see many did. people of many different races in this room. I, I, they all seem to be doing just fine. I don't think I, any, any of them have felt violence because they listened to a lecture on, on basic facts about our immigration system. The question was, have I asked people in this room if they've felt as though some violence has been committed on them? Uh, No, I haven't asked because no violence has been committed on you. Because violence is not a subjective feeling. Violence is an objective fact. 